Right, hello everyone. So today we're going through scarifying a lawn and renovation. Okay, so this is everything from aeration, a scarification to overseeding and top dressing. Keep watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to another J-Rock Lawn Care and Gardening video. In this video I'm going to show you how to reduce a very high thatch, high moss lawn and get some proper grass growing again. So as you can see here I'm using the Weebang Scarifier that's just absolutely tearing all of this dead organic matter out of this lawn. This is the first of three passes that I'm going to be doing just to try and get it down to a base level where we can basically start again. Right, hello then. As you've seen there, first pass with the Scarify and it has taken, I mean that can be jumped on, but half a bin out and this is only about 21 meters squared. And this is what you've got. As you can see, some parts we've came all the way down towards the soil, but there's still quite a bit left in there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a second pass and quite happy with it going all the way down to the soil. If that happens, then it just means, well, we've topsoiling and seeding today anyway, so it won't really matter, but that's kind of where it is. Okay, then that's scarification done. Um, the question of scarification or aeration first, to me, totally depends on the lawn. For example, this one's got had that much moss and thatch into it that I would have just been wasting my time with the aerator getting that out. I may as well get rid of the thatch and the moss first before I then aerate. So looking at that now, you can see that it's basically down back to the mud. In most places, like I said, there's very little grass actually in there. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is go around with a little hand aerator and I'm just going to start getting some oxygen into the soil before then overseeding and top dressing. Right, so now that I've scarified to remove the thatch and the moss that was in the lawn, I have now aerated, that's going to allow oxygen and nutrients into the root zone. Um, I am now going to get my spreader, get my seed, which is a perennial ryegrass mix. Um, I'm going to lay that down, put topsoil over the top, and then rake it in. And then after being watered today, it'll be have to keep on getting watered for the next sort of 7 to 14 days, constantly basically, as long as it's not flooding, but um, it's constantly damp. That's what we're looking for. So that'll be kept for the next up to 14 days, like I say, and then from there it'll be as and when. So germination for this sort of thing normally takes up to sort of 14 days, depending on weather and everything else. Um, but you can sort of see germination as early as within a week. Um, so that's what we're looking for, and that's what we're going to get into now. 